This is my sedum clavatum after the frost. It's a little over a week now from the frost we had. And our sedum clavatum is not really, really coping up with the frost. There are a lot of mushy leaves wrinkled and they just fall off those at the bottom starts to get mushy as well and this is our Crassula vulcanense if you can remember I'll probably put a photo leaves just turned glossy or jelly this is what happened to them after a week all dried up even here all dried up as well and my super bum that were frozen As you can see they just turned brown there all the scars and this one even all those wrinkles yeah this one's here it's in the baby the babies I thought they will die but looks like they are thriving again this is like really gel glassy jelly on the first day but again you can see the wrinkles here but at least the colors are back so I think this one will survive all these babies will survive so guys while checking the other plants from the frost I spotted this arrangement sitting lonely in a corner of our garden and I remember this is an arrangement we did about two years ago for Christmas. Kind of reef type of arrangement, but after two years, this is what it was. Um, so we have some Echeverias here, Haworthias, Crassulas and i remember there's a big one here i forgot that we used for another arrangement so there's a massive gap here um some ionium um another haworth here oh get some string of pearls and we use this for some trail effect but look at that it's overgrown but and there's actually another succulent the inside there like hysteria and this one i remember this is a very very small piece i think only this much only this much but look at that grew so big after two years so i thought I can reset this arrangement so come with me as we reset this two-year-old arrangement So here are the plants that I got from that arrangement. So we have Crassulas here, and then there's Tetragona, and there's Crassula. I'll probably use this one as one of the trails. Got a few rocks there as well. Some Glauca. I'll probably just, I'll probably use them 
on the side and then some Haworthia probably as a group I'll probably use some of these as well and this Ionium here to get some height and probably one of these and I'll add, add in a couple of um, succulents from our garden to add color because if you notice these are like all green so we'll add in some reds and pinks all right let's put in so guys well looking for some materials for this arrangement i saw this this is the original um candle holder in this original arrangement so i thought i'm gonna use it again all right that looks cool let's start I saw these two white rocks, so I'll just probably put it here to cover a bit of those spaces. Maybe one also here. I still got a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I haven't really used. I haven't used the tetragona. I haven't used these trails here. But don't worry, I will not throw them because I'm gonna use them. <laughs> Or some other projects but what i what i did is because i have a mix of succulents that are kind of indoor and at the same time outdoors so if ever you know when 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 the uh, weather doesn't really allow too much of you know um sun or too much heat i've grouped my kind of arrangement into two so if you notice here are very good at indoors or doesn't really need a lot of sun so i have the Haworthias and some crassulas as well which are winter growers so you know uh, during winter time where they grow they don't really need a lot of that much sun so they should be able to pretty much survive in this section um the cinema as well and the other half is where most of them are warm season growers so I have Echeverias here Semper Vivum, Semper Vivums um, 
Crassulas, I also put in here to get the heights, but you know, they can still strive in this type and this type here can still survive in hot weather. So I feel like they're okay here and obviously for aesthetic purposes, so they will have the height there. But this is where most of the colorful parts are because obviously if you need them to get colors, then you can put them in this side as well. I don't really put a lot of stuff because I know, you know, you get uh, what they call this. You get too excited <laughs> to put in a lot of stuff. But, you know, you want your plants to to grow. You get you want your plants to have room for growth. So I didn't really put a lot of, you know, areas to fill in. I know it looks better if you're like filled in. But this one, like for example, this zebra or zebra wherever you cut you are from <laughs> zebra zebra get babies here as well and potentially might have babies in this side as well and here so that would give them enough space for growth even this haworthia here might even you know grow some babies in here so i put them i, I allowed or i kind of allocated a few spaces there even for this one that's trails they will also like grow you know get some babies here so they will pretty much fill up this area and then this will trail here and obviously these ones will just grow taller and have some um will branch out from here as well this one they are very slow growers so might have a baby after what <laughs> half a year so he'll be right and then i put some rocks that i you know recycled from the original arrangement just to fill in have that kind of a kind of like a stop <laughs> from you know having too much plant you know have a pause and then you get plants again um i don't want to to uh, i mean this this cluster of of how worth he has i i don't want to you know put aside so i thought i want to use it well as well so some of these are like really cuttings or I just, you know, rip off their roots but I'm not really much worried in root rot because I've, I've, I have used our dry soil mix so um, this is and will probably be this in the, the conditions in the next two weeks like let, I'll, I'll let them sit here in this arrangement without anything but obviously not in the direct sunlight and because it's winter i would probably put this inside a a shaded area or maybe in one of our greenhouse i'll just probably position this one small baby here going up so it won't push itself towards this glauca there you go And then this is where Echeveria starts. So I have the Glauca here and some few um, Cursula just to give that height again. And Agavoides colors, adding colors here. And this is Elegance, Semper Vivum. Look at those very nice maroon color on the tips. It has babies here, so I just position it here so it will have that. You know when it grow it will have that um not really tra this might trail but at least it will have that effect of one of its rosettes pointing towards the side and then again i use the two rocks just to block or at least to have that um kind of a filler of the soil um exposed soil and some spare um Cursula as well again for that height so here it is our arrangement all the way around here you go guys I hope you like this video give us a thumbs up or please subscribe to our channel if you want more of these um, videos please let us know and we'll do some more arrangements in the future all right guys you have a great weekend and a great week ahead 
See you in the next video.